I'm gonna make a hat out of you. Hi. Today we are here because however many months ago it happened, I had the idea that I wanted to make a hat, a beanie hat, in the shape of a sea urchin skeleton. So if you guys, oh, there's, there's the reflection. Anyhow, if you guys are not familiar with what sea urchin skeletons look like, this is an artistic rendering of them where all of their little spiky spines are gone and they look like this. And they just look like perfect hat shaped objects that I need on my head. So I thought I would try my hand at creating a knitting pattern to make my sea urchin hat wearing dreams come true and talk a little bit about that pattern how you can make your own sea urchin hat, and a little bit about sea urchins. That's the plan. Sea urchins, as you're familiar with them, are just giant balls or mini balls of spiky things, of spines. Sea urchins are echinoderms, which means they're related to sea stars, sand dollars, brittle stars, sea cucumbers, and the like. And they live in tide pools, and you know me. I love the tide pools. The sea urchins live there, they have these spines to protect them from predators, but once they die and all of their spines fall off, they leave behind these absolutely beautiful looking skeletons. And on these skeletons, there's a whole bunch of bumps called tubercles, and that's kind of the sockets where all of those spines were on the sea urchin when it was still alive. So that's what I really was trying to capture with this knitting pattern was like, how do I get these tubercles in? So I kind of settled on using what was called the popcorn stitch and knitting. So here's kind of like, geez, why is there double-sided tape in this bag? Here's kind of like a little sample. These little stitches here, these little popcorns pop out. And I kind of was like, hmm, this feels good. This feels like tubercle worthy knitting stitch. So I started there, but next I had to figure out how to get the pattern I was looking for. If you take a look at a sea urchin skeleton, also known as a test, you'll notice they have this radial symmetry. So you could fold them in half among many other planes and they would still be symmetrical with each other. So I had to figure out a way to create that and I started experimenting with different pearl and knit patterns in order to kind of create this idea of radial symmetry and I didn't really like what I was doing. Here's kind of a sample of me just trying random crap out. I also didn't feel like the popcorn stitch was really vibing with these random associate, like alternations of knitting and purl stitches I had going on. So I decided to change that and settled on kind of this eight fold pattern that you see before you know, I'm drawing out this wonderful pattern. And this pattern led me to where I currently am at working on this hat. So here's like the main part of the hat. Let me just, you know, is it even gonna, look at that, look at that hat so far. <laughs> so this is the pattern I just discussed where it's kind of in multiples of eight with the tubercles going all the way around the outside and I've just begun my decreases to make this hat all finished. So this is the work in progress, going to keep working on it, but I just, before I show you the end result and close out this video, I wanted to say uh, one more thing about sea urchin skeletons. So scientists actually discovered that their tubercles, again, those little bumpy boys, are arranged in a specific pattern called the veronoid, or something like that, pattern, which is a form of tessellation or how different objects fit together. And this structure is seen in a lot of different places in nature from dragon wing, dragon wings, dragonfly wings, to other forms of insects. And it provides a very lightweight but strong structure, which would be really important for like an insect wing or a sea urchin skeleton where they need something lightweight, but they also need to be, with, be able to withstand being crushed. So this really unique engineering structure can be found in the sea urchin test and adds just one more element of beauty to them. So let me finish knitting this hat and we're gonna go see how it turns out. And just a few days later, the hat is all finished. Are you guys ready to see it? All right, drum roll please. Ta-da, <laughs> the hat. I think it turned out absolutely adorable. Let's give it a try on. Oh, look at that. I need to get my bang strength. Repping that sea urchin energy. 
And I think this turned out really cute. I love the fact that it's very a subtle nod to sea urchins. If you're in the know, you know it's a sea urchin hat. If you're not, you just think it's a super cute beanie. And I think that's an excellent balance to strike of like subtle science fashion. So I really loved how it turned out. If you're interested in making one for yourself, I did post the pattern on my Buy Me A Coffee page. It's just $5. It has all the instructions. It has pictures for you to make your very own sea urchin hat. And if you are yarn craft challenged, never fear. I have knitted a couple extra ones that will also be available on my Buy Me A Coffee page. Hopefully I'll have knitted a few more by the time this video goes up. The knitting as fast as my little fingies will allow me to, but it's just, just a fun way to show off your love of marine invertebrates. And I had a lot of fun designing and making all of these hats. Clearly these hats will fit like the average adult size head. If it's on my head, it fits on my husband's head. So, but if you are interested in like making one that's a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, like for a kid, I do have instructions in the pattern for how to increase or decrease the size of it. So hope you enjoyed this video and watching me make this hat a little bit, learn a little bit more about sea urchins. I really appreciate everyone's support. Please give this video a like if you really enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Tell all your friends about me. Semi blackmail them into subscribing if they haven't. And as always, keep it sciencey. Hello. Are you here for more science crafting? Let's well, do it. <laughs> we crafting today, folks. We crafting today, folks. Science crafting, science crafting, science crafting, science crafting. Let's craft today some science.